If you are creating an RPG game, you will definitely need an inventory. So in this tutorial by the Gamesmith, we will learn how to create our own inventory and how to give the player the ability to collect items from the scene and then view them in the inventory. So without wasting any more time, let's do it. Okay, so all I got here is a simple scene with this player with a script to be controlling it and moving it around the scene. Now let's start creating our inventory. To start, we'll head to our inspector and create a new UI image and let's call it our inventory. Now double click on it to be able to locate it in the whole scene. Now zero out its location and then drag and drop our inventory background to its source image and then set native size to be able to see it. After that, we'll do one important step. We'll go to our canvas and in the canvas scaler under UI scale mode, select scale your screen size and type your reference resolution. It has to be 1920 by 1080. Now go back to our inventory. Be sure that you have your native size set correctly. And after that, we'll create a child object from it. So right click here and create an empty game object. Let's call it slots. This will be the slots of our inventory. Now, inside these slots, we will create a UI, another image, and we'll call it slot1. Now, we'll drag and drop our slot image to its source image. And one more time, set native size. Adjust its position. After that, we'll go to our canvas and create a new UI, select button, change the source image to the option for the inventory. For me, I'll be using this inventory like icon here. One more time, set native size, but then I'll scale it to match the size I want. Now, drag and drop it to the corner on the screen and remove the text, we will not need it. Now it's time to write some code. So we'll create a new C-sharp script and let's call it inventory control. And we'll start by removing both of the update and start function as we will not need them. Instead, we'll declare a public game object, which will be our inventory. And then a public array of game objects so game object array and we'll call this slots finally a public bool and we'll set it also to be an array and we'll call it taken then we'll create a public function to be called our open inventory Inside which we want to set our inventory dot set active to be not equal to our inventory dot active self. After that, we'll save the script, return back to Unity. Now go back to our button and add the script to it. Set the size of slots to be six. And the same number shall be for the size of our taken. Now, after that, we'll drag and drop our inventory to our inventory field here. And then we'll add an on click function for the button. Drag and drop our script to it. And select here inventory control and then open inventory. Now we can go to our inventory, deactivate it. And once in the game, whenever you click on this button, you will see that the Inventory appears and then disappears with another click. Now it's time to pick items from the game. To do that, we'll head back to our game, go to our main camera, and add this pickable item we want. Set its order in layers, adjust the size. Now we will add a polygon collider to it and set it as an is trigger. After that, we will create a new c -sharp script, and let's call it Pickup. 
Again, one more time, we'll open it in our Visual Studio. To start, we will declare a public inventory control of name inventory. After that, we will create an on trigger function. So on trigger enter to the inside which we want to check if the collision dot compare tag is our player. If so, we want to check a for loop. So for int i, which will be equal to zero, and this i is smaller than the inventory dot slots dot length, and we will be increasing this with a step of one. Inside which we want to check if the slot is taken, so inventory dot taken for that slot is equal to true. Then we will do nothing. However, if it's not taken, so inventory dot taken was the same value is false. In this case, we want to instantiate the game object of the picked item. So we will have to declare another public game object, which we'll call picked item. And we will instantiate it at this spot. So inventory dot slots of the value i dot transform and as it will be in the canvas we will need it to be with no rotation so false then followed by this we will destroy our game object but don't forget to set this slot to be taken so we will have it to be inventory dot taken for this slot to be equal to true. Finally, in our start function, we went to set our inventory to be equal to our game object, dot find game object with tag, and this tag shall be our inventory dot get component, and this component shall be our inventory control. Now save the script, add it to our pickable item, and now we will have to create the icon which will be shown in the inventory. To do so, we will go inside our canvas, create a new UI button, remove the text one more time, and for the image we will set our pickable icon for the source image, set native size and adjust the scale. We select it to be a button, not an image, to be able to have an on-click function after that to use this item itself. Now for this button, we will do nothing more. We will just rename it to be our picked icon and drag and drop it inside of our assets folder to create a prefab. Now again, remove it from the scene, head back to our pickup item, double click on it to be able to locate it in the scene and drag and drop our prefab inside the picked item here. Now we'll duplicate this number, now we'll duplicate this pickable item a number of times in the scene. And finally, don't forget to add the player tag to our player. And after that, don't forget to go to our button and add the tag of inventory to it. After that, we'll head to our player tag it to be player and then select our button drag and drop each slot to each assigned position now run the game and you'll see that everything is working perfectly
In the next video, we will learn how to stack items in the inventory and how to drop them back into the scene. By that, I wish you learned something new today. Please give this video a thumbs up, share with your new friends, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. This is the Gamesmith, and as usual, see you in the next one.